I have three clips in my timeline, and I would like to add another. The display table here, and I'd like to insert it at the beginning. So to do this, I make sure my locator is in the correct position, here right at the beginning, and then I select the clip, and choose the region, from where until where I want to use it. And this region should go to the beginning of my project, but I don't wish to import the audio channel, and so I can deactivate this in the mapping section, A. And so the audio is left out of the import. The video data should go to track 1VA, and this is correct. Now we have the question as to which mode I use. Overwrite is clearly wrong, as I don't want to erase the data that is already there. If I was to choose Insert, however, then my music track would be shifted to the right along with the video clips, and I don't want that to happen either. There is a solution for this, however, and I'll show it now. I'll undo my last procedure and select the clip again. And now I'll see in more detail what options I have available to me. In this column, which we haven't looked at yet, I can specify which tracks are affected in insert mode. And as I don't want my music to be moved along, I'll click here. And now the music will remain as is. If I now use the Insert to Timeline option, then my clips on tracks 1VA and T are correctly moved along, but my audio track is left alone. All I might need to do is extend the audio track so that it stretches over the entire project. So it is important to remember that I can use this column to specify which tracks are taken into account when using this mode. If I wish to exclude a track from the process, I just deactivate the symbol for that track here. Click here for the next video. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, click here. You can find more tips and tricks in our EDIUS podcast. And this playlist contains the complete EDIUS tutorial.